Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Well, most of you guys won't know this, but I've been away from home for three weeks. Yep, I travelled abroad to get married. So firstly, I want to apologise for the lack of news and info videos regarding Destiny 2 here on my channel. There have been a few interesting leaks and so forth which I would have 100% covered. Also, it's why I've posted so many top 5 videos. I mean, I know you guys enjoy them, but well, most of you do. But yeah, I don't normally spam them out like I have been doing. I saw my 3 week break as an opportunity to catch up on clips submitted. I only have now about 30,000 more to go go through. Yes, craziness. So yeah guys, I got married, enjoyed the sun and had a nice break. But now I am back. So expected upon my return, as I really have shut off social media, I expected to see many new additions and so forth added to the game. As when I left, the recent festival event had just started, I expected to see secret quests and so forth. But nope. I return to see a shitty 5 minute, 3 week time gated quest being basically the only new thing I miss while being away. I'm shocked to be honest, let's go to Amanda Holiday, buy 10 engrams from the Cryptarch and that's that. From what we have had with the Forsaken I expected better. This quest I believe was data mined and rewards you the Thunderlord as I saw on Reddit. Not sure how true that is. If the quest ends later today, I'm sure we will find out. Heavy machine guns I do know were coming with the Dawning and the Black Armour DLC in December. So is this quest going to reward us a little teaser? We will see. But besides this final low quest, not much else besides an update which helps duplicate exotics and a few other things have landed. I can't believe they have still done nothing about the Telesto yet. That's crazy. But if there is anything else interesting I missed, please let me know. I did miss the start of Red Dead Redemption, a game I am currently catching up on. I mean, wow, the game is spectacular. Cannot wait for the online to drop. A game I will definitely cover for sure. So yesterday, Bungie tweeted out that a new feature will land today via Eververse, called the Temporal Surge. What is this, I wonder, while quoting Bungie right here. Starting tomorrow, a brand new feature called the Temporal Surge will become available through the Eververse storefront. Our goals for this new offering are to offer gardens a limited time opportunity to directly purchase items from Bright Engrams. While future Temporal Surge may offer a variety of items, this particular version focuses on Year 1 emotes. The legendary and rare emotes included in this Temporal Surge will be the exact same items made available in Bright Engrams from previous seasons of Destiny 2. The exotic emotes are Temporal versions, which will feature recolored effects to allow the original version to retain their uniqueness. Emotes will be priced as followed. Rare emotes 200 silver, legendary emotes 500 silver, and exotic emotes 1000 damn silver. The first Temporal Surge will be available from 9am PST on November 6th through to 9am PST on November 13th, 2018. So Bungie incorporating a way for us to get all the engrams and stuff for that real life money money. No option to spend our stacked piles of bright dust. Um, well, okay Bongo. What's happened to them while I've been away? No one to keep them in check I believe. It's like we've had a few steps forward with Forsaken and now they're in reverse. What is going on? This in my opinion is just a cash grab. And I guarantee you guys, this is just the beginning also. There will be many things from Eververse Year 1, such as ships, sparrows, armors, skull shells and so forth, which we will be able to get via this temporal surge. Know that these will pop up in the near future. I mean, a feature like this doesn't exactly affect anybody. I mean, you don't have to spend silver if you don't want to. It doesn't affect you if you don't. But in my opinion, it's definitely a cash grab. But hey, it is what it is. But yeah guys, other than this, not much has landed. December DLC will be great, I'm sure, well I'm hoping. And later today we get the third part of this quest. Will it be Hold the Thunderlord? We will see. But guys, I am back. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video and would like to show your support, leaving a like really does help me out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
Get around.